Hi. So, something I'm noticing, um, I'm a follower of Jordan Peterson. I follow him on Twitter. I follow him on here on YouTube. I follow him on Facebook. And something I'm noticing is a lot of people hating on him for the things he says. I'm having a hard time, however, figuring out what it is about what he says that somebody could hate. Now, we're going to start, though, with what his haters actually say. Because it's really strange that even when it came to the panel discussion with Lindsay Shepard that she recorded about showing a video by jo or with Jordan Peterson in it, even then, he was compared to Hitler by that panel of supposedly educated people. And so I find it strange that people like to equate him to Hitler. It's just like people equating Donald Trump to Hitler or equating really anyone they don't like to Hitler. The thing is, Jordan Peterson is different. He's not out trying to change policies. He's not trying to change the world. He has run on, not even run, he isn't running for office. He has simply run his life and his studies on a platform of personal responsibility and the psychology around it. And anyone who has watched any amount of his talks knows that already. He is very scientific and very analytical when it comes to discussing these things. His claim to fame, of course, came when he would not support a bill that essentially forces you to um, use the proper gender expression for people who don't want to subscribe to their biological gender expression. And of course he said, no, I'm not going to use any of those, any of these made up names. If somebody, if a woman wants to be called he and wants it on that one, you know, on a one for one basis, then I'll do it. But I'm not going to go out and inconvenience myself by, um, looking for what everyone's pronouns are. Beyond that, he said, I, I am not, also not willing to live in a country that has a government dictate that you have to use specific forced language. He is against compelled language. And honestly, anyone who is not against compelled language might have a problem might have a problem within themselves. And that goes to a deeper issue. The people that don't like him, if you look into their Facebook and their Twitter, they and they or if they have a YouTube channel, if you look into that, you'll notice a trend. They believe strongly in identity politics. You know what is what they are defines everything about them. And what's more, what they are is always the ultimate, and anything that deviates from what they are is inferior and something to be attacked and hated. You'll notice this with all of them. I have not seen one of Jordan Peterson's haters that did not have this going for them. Beyond that, they were... Um, by and large, with the Fight for 15 movement, they supported Antifa. They support all of these leftist movements that involve a lack of personal responsibility, that involve an abundance of entitlements and an entitled perspective. And a lot of people just saying, check your privilege in response to almost everything. It has been a wild ride going through these people's profiles and digging around. And I recommend that all of you listening 
do the same. When you see these people arguing, don't just take their argument at face value. Look at the person behind it and see that the same type of people are saying the same things. Maybe you'll find that that changes what you think or maybe it cements what you think. All I know is that Jordan Peterson's haters, they tend to be pretty infantilized. They tend to like the idea of having a, a mommy government to take care of them. And they like the idea of compelled language because then they don't have to think about what they're going to say. It's very much like a kindergarten class. I found it interesting. I hope that you guys go out and do your own case studies and don't just follow what I say. I hope you do the research for yourself and come to the same conclusions. And if you don't, please come back to me. I would love to hash out a discussion on it because it's very interesting to me to see these type of people. In the meantime, I'm going to let this one go. Um, like, share, subscribe. I want more subscribers. I I would like you to subscribe. So have you subscribed? No, you have not? Go ahead and subscribe. Um, it's been suggested to me that I should do more talking with my hands, and so uh, I've got my hands flapping around here. I think the subscribe button is right right about th there. It's like a, it's a, cir it's a circle. Well, maybe about, maybe about this big. It, it, am I on it? Am I on it? I can't hear you. Okay, and then there's like a square, like right here. It's really, it's encroaching on my head. I go, Ugh. I gotta be like that. I gotta be like that with it. I don't know. This is going really, this is going really long. This is exciting. High five myself. And a hand comes out and, I don't know. What's up? This is extra content. Some people, when they when they heard like, share, subscribe, they immediately shut it off. And there are some people that shut it off at like the 30 second mark because they're tired of me immediately. You guys are getting the special bonus stuff. Can you believe this? I was out in the backyard today. My son had dropped this little squishy animal. Look at this thing. Look at, watch, watch, watch. Okay, so it's like a little cat, right? Oh my goodness. These things are so cute. My uh, my wife was running a winter carnival earlier this month, and uh, these were among the prizes. She, you can just order a big old box of them off Amazon. It's so freaking cool. So anyone out there that likes stuff like this, definitely do it. Order order up like a thousand of these and just I don't know fill a bathtub with them. Take take a bath in little poofy animals. There's all kinds. Like this was the only one of this in the entire box. And there was like a chicken and a duck and a lamb. Super cool. <sighs> that wasn't like a sponsor or anything. That was just something cool. And I just happened to find that in the backyard today. I think I'm just going to keep doing this till like the 10 minute mark. Um, what else? What else is there? There's nothing up there. That's a ceiling. Well, I, I don't know. There's like a timer up here for for my camera, but then the timer for this is like down here in the corner. Look at this. I'm interacting with your screen. Is this super cool or what? Should I do like miming? Uh, my hands are moving. This, ah, that's stupid. I'm not very good at it. This is why I'm not a mime. This is why I'm not Robin Williams. Did anyone see those old photos of him being a mime in like the the 70s? That's pretty cool stuff. People didn't even know that was Robin Williams because this was before his career started. <sighs> That's tragic. Seems like all the uh, saddest people are trying to make everyone around them happier. <sighs> all right, folks. I guess now I'm going to let it go. Like, share, subscribe. I'll catch you later. Bye.